Hi, my name is Aliyah Mee, interning with Brapco Media from Albany State University, majoring in mass communications. This past weekend, I had the opportunity to attend a lovely fashion show hosted by The Showroom, a local boutique shop in downtown Albany, Georgia, and curated by the Nia Michelle Experience. The theme of the fashion show was Colors of Fall, and the pieces that were shown radiated vibrant, cool, and cozy colors. The pieces were all designed by talented African-American women. The designers were looks by Alani Couture, designs by Incisions, and Kawambi Dorsey, the host and owner of the showroom. Although the fashion show was the main focus, the showroom was open to other vendors to sell their products. The pieces being showcased ranged from petite women to plus size women. There were many different colorways, patterns, and designs. It was amazing to witness the production of the launch of this collection. We'll be back after a break from our sponsors. At O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, our team focus is to walk with our clients every step of the way to accomplish your financial goals. We provide several accounting and advisory services, starting with financial statement preparation, personal and business taxes, payroll, and workforce development classes. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services allows you, our client, to measure your success by seeing results. Contact us today to set up an appointment. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, accomplishing your needs together. Welcome back to Rafco Media. I'm sitting here with Dominique Keelan, a lifestyle reporter who happened to be a model in the fashion show. So, how was it practicing for the fashion show and, you know, getting dressed before it was time to go on stage? Um, practicing for a fashion show was pretty, it was like, mm, it was pretty fun, mm -hmm. but also like getting a little nervous because it's my, it was getting back into it after like months of stopping mm -hmm. for, okay. as I was getting in school and mm -hmm. stuff, but like, it was kind of um, a little nervousing as well because, like, it's a whole bunch of new girls that mm -hmm. I've never met before, mm -hmm. and we had to start feeling like had to be a little in our little sexy mood mm -hmm. type stuff to be able to like be able to wear the pieces confidently. Okay. And I'm like I'm a little too goofy, so yeah. it's kind of hard for me to be very like serious, serious uh -huh. like that. But okay, I got it through. That's so. good. You did a good job. Um, do you feel as if the clothes you modeled made you feel comfortable in your own skin? Absolutely. Like, That's good. The clothes I model are basically the same clothes I would wear on a, any other day. Okay. Like, it was great. That's good. Um, I saw that you were able to get an interview with Kawambi Dorsey, and I just wanted to know how did her personal experience influence your love for fashion? Well, I love Miss Kawambi first, the first thing off, because when I had first met her, mm -hmm. I had actually interned with her and we was her social media and marketing. So, like, being with her for that amount of time and listening to her talk about how passionate she is about fashion and beauty and I was like that's the same field that I want to get mm -hmm. into it just made me a lot more motivated and more like more like um what's the word like excited mm -hmm. about being in my field and know that it is possible for me to get there yes. even though I'm going through like so many hard times mm -hmm. trying to get there it's not it's not the end it's actually possible to get there it's just steps and levels to get to there all right well, thank you for answering my questions, and you we'll be back. At, you're welcome, and we'll be back after a message from our sponsors. Consulting and Training Services, our team focus is to walk with our clients every step of the way to accomplish your financial goals. We provide several accounting and advisory services, starting with financial statement preparation, personal and business taxes, payroll, and workforce development classes. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services allows you, our client, to measure your success by seeing results. Contact us today to set up an appointment. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, accomplishing your needs together. 
Welcome back to Rapco Media. Up next, we have a segment by Shaquez Gray, who is interviewing students at Albany State University to talk about why they chose ASU and the HBCU lifestyle. Hello, my name is Shaquez Gray, a graduating senior here at Albany State University, interning with Rapco Media. Today, we are interviewing a student here at Albany State University just about what has the college life experience been for them. I'm from Tallahassee, Florida, Southside, Ridge, baby. Uh, I made it out. You know, I'm here. College. It's a blessing at Albany State University, a graduating senior this December. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah. First off, ASU came, I got a scholarship uh, freshman year. I ran track. It was a blessing. It was my, my first legit scholarship, and I couldn't turn it down. I could have went to FAMU, but I wanted a different environment, and I chose ASU just to be in a different area, and I love it. I can have a family here. Like, it's amazing. Family, friends, everything, so I'm blessed. My classification, I'm a senior. My focus, mass communication. Uh, my focus is sports broadcasting. I still want to do something within the entertainment world, anything in the sports world. So, yeah, that's my concentration. I've been on campus. I have so many, y'all, I'm not going to lie. But I would say it'll be my freshman year. Coming to college, being in a new environment, meeting people. My roommates actually became my best friends my freshman year, and we did everything together. So, yeah, I'm blessed to have them. Freshman year compared to now, it's no difference. I'm not going to lie. I came in here and I just wanted to get business done, and I did that. And, you know, it was a little setback to, due to COVID and stuff, but I still did what I had to do. I feel like college life is an experience like everybody could, should experience. But if you don't, you know, everybody got different journeys, different paths. It is what it is. But college life, networking, you meet people. You make like so many friends and stuff like that. So it's definitely an experience and it gives you a time, it gives you a chance to like find yourself. So I love it. Y'all, my time in went bad. I do everything last minute. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I get it done. That's one thing about it. But time management is very, 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 very important in college and just in life in general. The best advice is don't come here not being you. Like, be yourself. Even if you're different, like, remember, like, to stay true to yourself, be who you are, and you're going to grow. Like, that's the best thing you can do. My name is Shockwave Gray here at Rapco Media. 
I hope you have a wonderful day. That was a really great segment. We'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. The City of Albany, Georgia Community and Economic Development Housing Counseling Services are here to assist you. We offer pre-purchase home buyer education, post-purchase counseling, rental, fair housing counseling, mortgage default loss mitigation, and financial literacy. Counseling includes financial budgeting, negotiating with the lender for a repayment plan to prevent foreclosure or a loan modification, identifying alternative solutions to resolve clients' mortgage delinquency and stabilize his or her financial situation, helping the client understand the foreclosure process. For more information, contact B.J. Jackson Burton at 229 483-7650 or contact BJ at bjackson at albanyga.gov or if you're in the neighborhood stop by our office Micro Business Enterprise Center located at 230 South Jackson Street Suite 315 Albany, Georgia 31701 We look forward to serve you. Remember that fair housing isn't an option, it's the law. Here at O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, our team focus is to walk with our clients every step of the way to accomplish your financial goals. We provide several accounting and advisory services, starting with financial statement preparation, personal and business taxes, payroll and workforce development classes. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services allows you, our client, to measure your success by seeing results. Contact us today to set up an appointment. O'Neill's Consulting and Training Services, accomplishing your needs together. This past weekend, a terrible tragedy happened in Jacksonville, Florida. A mass shooting occurred at a Dollar General, leaving three people fatally shot. The three victims were Angela Michelle Carr, A.J. LaGuerre, and Gerald Gallion. Officials say the shooter was spotted on an HBCU campus, Edward Waters University, prior to the shooting. University workers stated that he was asked to leave the campus after failure to verify his identity. He was seen putting on a bulletproof vest and a mask before leaving the campus. The shooter was identified as 21-year-old Ryan Palmeter. Many people are wondering what's the cause for this violent attack, and there's only one answer, racism. According to Paul Meter's father, he found racist writings from his son that made it clear how deeply he hated black people. After proceeding to take the lives of three innocent people, Paul Meter went on to take his own, his own life. I offer my deepest condolences to the families of the victims. As an HBCU student, it makes me fear for my life knowing that could have possibly been me or any of my classmates. It's sad that campuses, including ASU, are so easily accessed. Every day I leave my dorm room, I'm on alert for my surroundings when school is supposed to be one of the top places I feel safe at. Gun violence has become so common that no matter how many riots, it will continue on because white supremacy has ruled over everything for hundreds of years. I'm tired of seeing my people become a hashtag and suffer because of a deeply rooted hatred from a race that will never accept us. How many more innocent lives will have to be taken before laws and consequences to crimes become stricter? It's time for a change. Thank you for tuning in to Rapco Media. I am Malia Ami. Until next time.